the traditional way of moving around, or the standard way of moving around uh, previous directories in Z is with um, auto push dir. And this is done by typing cd hyphen tab. You've got a list there of recently visited directories in this session. I want to go to downloads, so I type 6, return, I'm in downloads. I can also go there numerically, but then I have to sort of remember where that is. Okay, so um, that's very powerful, but what's the disadvantage? Well, um, it's only directories I visited in the current session. Um, it's not necessarily the directories that I want to visit, the ones I most need. Um, there is a tool that provides this facility and it's called Z. Okay, I've got Z installed, um, but later on I'll show you how to install it dead easy. So to use, just type Z, and there I've got a list of my directories. And the number at the beginning is a weight. That's the, uh, to give the, the weight that Z's accorded it, um, deciding how many times I visited that directory, how often I need that directory. Okay, so how do I use Z? Well, um, I want to go to my catwalk photos. So I just type catwalk. I probably could have got there with cat. Let's go to, um, let's go to my, coffee videos there I am now ah now I want to go to the Jones director I want to go to Sue Jones that's fine um, now I want to go to Jones again but I want to go to Fred Jones So that's got me to a specific uh, subdirectory using uh, two search strings. And I, if I want to go to Sue Jones, I can be more specific. But it's when I just type in Jones on its own, it's given me Sue because in fact I've been there more often. So it's given it a different weight. Okay. So that said, you can also use it as a directory tranger as, you, as a replacement for CD. Oops. And I've got completion on that. So I. I no, it's just just saying that it's uh, it's an all-purpose tool. It's got its help directory. Uh, I don't use many of those options, but they're there. And it uses a file in your home directory as a database. That's it for now. Okay, how to install Z? Well, it's just a uh, source file and you get it from GitHub. Um, I've created a directory in the plugin directory called Z. That's where I'm going to download it. It doesn't really matter where you put it because you're just going to source it anyway.
There it is there. That's just the first few lines of it. Z shell Z, jump around Z shell, a native version of Z without orcs. Okay, okay, okay. And there's the address I got it from. Okay, so how do I source it? Well, it's in my .zshrc file. And as I've already got it installed, there it is there. I believe oh my ZS shell users get Z for free, it's already installed. And that's it. I should really restart Z shell to make sure it's all still working. There it is there. Okay. Bye.